Good evening, people on the internet watching YouTube and things. Welcome to the Healing Forkman channel, the only channel you're currently watching. Anyway, you may be inquiring about this curious little folder I have here. You may notice it's marking pre-7th. This is my folder of art I found in my vast pile of papers this past week of art from before 7th grade. I thought, since uh, going into the new school year, I, I, I'm guessing I'm about halfway through my summer, but I'm excited for high school and I kind of want to make a video about this, so I am. And no one can tell me what to do since I'm master of this channel. Fight me. Anyway, let's dig into this vast, deep hole of weirdness I have in here. And the first... I guess I should just... And the first piece of art we have here is this. Now, um, I think I just wanted to draw a weird secret sequence or scene. Yeah, um, I I think I might have ba I think I might have based it off of a picture in a Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. This is from either fourth grade or fifth grade. I'm guessing fifth grade, but it it could be fourth grade. Yeah, we got ducks in jetpacks with chili pepper bazookas on top of moons. And uh, that guy, and a head that vaguely that looks vaguely like Rowley's. I'll just have to travel back in time and ask my self get answers to those questions. This was a um, it looks like a perspective practice. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. It appears to be a gravestone reading R.I.P. Willard Pate Rare, or and there's no dots, so I guess rip Willard Pate Rare. Rip him. Get Jack the Ripper in here, revive him. 1888. Um, I actually believe this was an anagram for someone's name, and if I'm right, there's gonna be lots of, yeah. There's lots of text on the back. Now what's this monstrosity here? You'll have to forgive, if you can hear it, you'll have to forgive the uh, stomping around in the background. I, uh, I'm recording downstairs and if you're familiar with the concept of multiple floors, um, some houses have an upstairs and a downstairs. Normally, the floor in between, like the so here's downstairs, like the, the in-between space between the ceiling of the downstairs and floor of the upstairs is not insulated or soundproof very well and very prone to low frequencies such as the vibrations of someone's very large father walking around upstairs. There's an unnecessary explanation. But I believe this monstrosity, not the monstrosity looking upstairs, is, if we look on the back, the true nature of a mermaid. Huh. Yeah, I used to be obsessed with fantasy. Oh, I guess I kind of am still obsessed with fantasy, but um, in a little more rational sense. Anyway, uh, this looks more like the Harry Potter merfolk rather than the kind you see on my sister's notebook, which is absolutely horrendous. Yeah. I love this guy. It's, um, Sp Spider-Man. I guess it's not a spider because he's not an arachnid. Insect man and bread hand. He needs some milk. But he can't make silk. <laughs> yeah, that's all we got. He's got his spider nose and spider thighs. <gasps> I know. Spider knows, spider knows, nobody knows where this thing goes. Go in there and 
Yeah, I don't I don't got it. Next picture. Yeah. This looks like a fine little doodle. It appears to be a weird dragon duck thing facing off against an eyeball of uh, this thing. A guy with rocket thighs. A banana cannon. A weird thing. And a superhero potato who appears to be saying incorrect. Oh, and an alien octopus thing. Oh no, yeah, this is my true masterpieces. This I know is from fifth grade, and I believe it was going to be the cover art, or at least concept cover art, for a comic book I was making with my friend. They got a guy who's on fire, a person who has transparent legs, as you can tell, or his just cape is somehow going through his legs. There's a guy with a net on his hand chasing a bird. There's a, like a cow thing. If you can see it, someone with knives. No, is that a do you think? Um, do you think that's a cow or like a sad dog with a droopy nose? Poor dogs. I don't know what to make of that thing. Certainly not make out. <laughs> <laughs> now these things were fun. So uh, my art teacher in fifth grade, she had these little uh, mo monster mash packets, and basically it was, um, a paper with a design printed on it, and you put your, like, I don't know, you went, then you put the paper on it, and then you traced it, like, yeah, but they didn't have a light board like I have now, so. Ah, this. I drew a fairy for my sisters because they wanted it. I'm not sure why I ended back up with it. Maybe I photocopied it. But yeah, she's got feet and hands and a floating leaf and pretty wings and flesh-colored eyeballs. They got some flesh-colored eyeballs. Don't you wish you had flesh-colored eyeballs? Oh, yes. And this thing will definitely... Be on, uh, show up on the how to draw tutorials. Let's make a, a pair of pale green pants with nobody inside them. Just to stick with the pair of pale green pants with nobody inside them. That was one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books. It was spooky enough just to be spooky. And the audio version is even spookier. No comment. I think this might have been another villain from, I don't know, maybe, yeah, another comic. I, I believe it was a super cute comic. Um, so, I, when my uh, baby sister, uh, not she's not a baby anymore, she's a nuisance. Uh, when my sister Vivian was born, I made a comic of her being a superhero and I called it super cute. And I think this was supposed to be some sort of soda themed villain. Oh well. This was probably some school sanctioned art. This I drew in sixth grade, I think, I believe. Yeah. It's an iron golem, not from Minecraft, from D and D. Again, reinforcing the obsessed with fantasy detail. Ah, uh, yeah, more of those monster mash things. Like, does it make any more sense if you turn it upside down? No, it makes less. This definitely was a school sanctioned art piece. It was Shapeville, and I hated and I hated making it, but I still found a way to pour my um, disturbed imagination into it. I suppose it's more disturbed now than it was then. But you got like a book with a tongue coming out of its chin, a dunce balloon with holes in it, that the road has a hole in it. It's a manhole lane, if you can read it. I have ter horrendous handwriting. And uh, apparently, uh, I don't know how to darken text. Uh, you can see, if you can't see, it says stuff tower with lots of stairs. You got an octopus kite, triangle with legs, a sad square, got all sorts of stuff. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I like this guy. Maybe I'll do a how to draw on him if you can't t figure it out. And that's all my fourth, that's the majority of my uh, fourth and fifth and like a very little of my sixth grade art. But there's more. A notebook full of math. And doodles. And apparently a story. Yeah. So this was a character I had with my friend in sixth grade. She and I really like to play D&D &D and stuff, and I guess we developed this character. Leo Ulamankia, the half-elf sor uh, sorceress. And someone's phone number there. It's not my mom's phone number, so some uh, someone, you should go call that phone number and put post in the comments what happened. Maybe I'll call my friend. Anyway. This is a poor attempt to draw a dragon. Like, if you can tell, I could not draw wings or find a correct way to attach limbs to a body. I still have a hard time with that. Which is why I stick to more cartoonish stuff. This appears to be a suit of armor. Math. Looks like I'm subtracting decimals here. Is 6th grade math really that simple? Like, if you'd like with the gauge, the 8th grade math is that with linear equations and algebra that makes lots of sense if you think about it. Got... oop. Yeah, just what I thought it might be. Sticker bar appears. It's like the Snickers bar is like forcing him to put his head back on. Or like maybe he's trying to get his head to fly after the Snickers bar? We'll never know. Oh yeah, I wrote a I yeah, I wrote a will. My will. And I wrote a list of ways of die a uh, list of ways I could die at Goblin Valley. This is another character me and my female friend had uh the one that I played D&D with, uh, Latos Creed, the uh, tiefling fighter. If you don't know what a tiefling is, basically like, basically a half demon. He's got a giant shield, and he looks like he's four feet tall. Like, from like pr proportions, yeah, it, he looks like he's four feet tall if you look at it. That looks like it might be an erased drawing of a por poorly drawn Shrek. I don't know. Some doodles. Like a worm with wings. This, uh, yeah, it's uh, Batman. Um, I'm a llama. Batman llama. Batman giraffe. Normal giraffe. I got in a long argument with my friend when I was drawing this in class about what was a llama and what was a giraffe. And that, that's Batman, that's Spider-Man. Now this is, uh, I believe, me and my friend's best creations is the fungus deer. They're real fun guys. Pause for laughter. You can laugh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's got like the dripping fungus moss. Lots of mushrooms growing out of its fur. It's got antlers with leaves on them. It's got orange eyes. It's got like a tongue coming out of its neck. Maybe it's like a sec, uh, like the severed second head. Maybe. I don't remember much from sixth grade other than I went to a pretty cool school. It apparently has blind sight for 60 feet, has a, s a speed of 150 feet. I guess I had D&D stats. This monster is actually on D&D &D Beyond if you go look it up. If, you, if you're interested. I believe this is another drawing of the Leo Ulamankia person. Appar I couldn't draw faces, so she wears a mask. Uh, this is a uh, fungus wolf. When I was looking through earlier, uh, he actually uh, 
broke and I have the piece that broke off. Maybe we can fix it. Does that, does that work? Maybe if we just put a goldfish in there. Yeah, put a goldfish in there. All better. In an earlier take, it was a starburst, actually. I suppose this looks to be a fungus dragon. Uh, or at least undead and half reanimated. Right, what is the deal with its head going on here? It, it couldn't just draw like a simple... Couldn't have just done that and then like went... No lower jaw for you, I'm just chilling with teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move on before I desecrate more of my old art. I tried to write a song. Or maybe that's just a doodle. It, it It's entitled Cello Woo. And from my minimal perf- uh, Not perfect pitch. My minimal pitch reading. I bl it sounds- It looks like it goes. Do 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 No. Do do do. Here, maybe if I get my cello out, I could play it. Uh, this looks like it's a fungus human. Yeah, and I still can't draw humans. But what I ca could draw back then is strong bad. Oh, he needs a neck. Maybe we can, like, draw a really bad home so ho homestar. Yeah, it's homestar. If you don't know what homestarrunner.com is, you're missing out on a lot. It's really funny. It's like, you have legs. Drawing bad. Yeah. I'm a weird person. This wall shall be no more, apparently. Poor wall. Not getting to be anymore. Ah. Yes. This is a uh, dragon. And see, I'm missing crucial details of dragon wings. Where dra I guess some dragon wings could look like that. But if you take a close look at any wings, they kind of go like... So if it were to be an arm, they kind of go like that. Because we got our shoulder, elbow, and wrist. And then you get stuff like, and then your fingers extend from here. Except bats also have a. So you get a. Yeah, that's a poorly drawn, but better than that, dragon wing. <laughs> this looks to be concept art for a comic book character. I'm kind of glad I recovered that. I'll use it. Right now I'm attempting to draw a comic for Chicken Hand Man. If you didn't see that video, I would suggest watching it. These, uh, this looks like more, uh, d, d schematics for- Oh no, wait, these are mega base schematics. For a, uh, primitive, uh, form of SMP that I was gonna do with my cousin back when we both played Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, and not just Bedrock Edition, Wii U Edition, which is one of the most bugged games you'd probably ever play if you've played it. I have like a whole album on my Photos app dedicated to bugs I've found on it. Yeah. There's my hand. It's bigger now. I guess like Here's that, and then if I line my thumb up, I get, that's like a inch difference. My middle finger's grown an inch. And I still can't play the cello with it. Looks to be more schematics. D&D &D map of oh, campaign. I would suggest using uh, graph paper for drawing out a dungeon map. 
It's just a little easier that way. Guard statistics. Guard 1 has 11 of 11 hit points. Stacy only has 2. Maybe that's an initiative number. Ah, yes. Norman Toth, the Demon of Darkness. I, I, I have no context for this, but it's a pair of red eyes. Maybe if I dim edit in a picture, dim. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, this was one of the best games of add-on I have ever played in my life. We got something we titled One Thing, where we each drew one thing until the page slowly filled up. I'll draw Bibby. Because every uh, game of add-on needs a Im Bibby, some sort of Bibby imagery. Yeah, that's not my best drawing of him. My best drawing of him is up there. And if you saw that video, you learned you could draw. So we got Mickey Mouse stealing the stars. We got some butter, pirate ship, a coffin, weird sun, weird moon, mouse, alien, Star Trek ship, the discovery. Is, is it the discovery? I'm not old. I don't watch Star Trek. I do watch Star Wars. I am old enough to watch Star Wars. There's a swirly thing. There's a face, a cone, a table, ice cream, table, baby, table, baby, bow tie, baby, table, ice cubes versus butter. He looks sleep deprived. That is one sleep deprived cube of butter. And I bet that's a sentence that no one's ever said before. Other than me, I've, I've said it a couple times when I was uh, planning out what I'd say for this video. That's cool. Uh, what each so like he gave me a cactusipus, cactus octopus, octocacti. It it looks like an octopus cactus. He, he, um, so we were each gonna try uh, draw a flower eating sombrero. Uh, so my cousin drew this, so then I had to point out to her that, um, that's a flower-eating a sombrero. And this is a flower-eating sombrero. It's a sombrero eating a flower, not a flower eating a sombrero. Sombrero and witch hat. And I forgot to add top hat. There you go. Top, top hat, witch hat, sombrero. It's my... All my documented pre-7th grade art I have here in my room and filing cabinet. That's not a cabinet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my showing off of my wild imagination when I was younger, and it only gets better from there. Maybe in another video I'll do uh, my 7th grade art and maybe my 8th grade art as I'm going to ninth grade. And maybe next year I'll uh, do a video reviewing all the art I did in ninth grade. This is going to be a great year, and I'm excited for high school. I don't know if I should be excited, so anyone who has actual knowledge of this subject, please advise me. Should I or should I not be excited for high school in the comments? Bye. Remember to check out the Discord and do the other stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. Bye again. Good night and do stuff. Stay living and, uh, don't die in a fire this time.